Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is the Crypto Crow, and uh, I, I've got something that I hope really makes you think because I was just exposed to some some information that um, really is kind of scaring the hell out of me, and and I wanted to kind of, I wanted to share this and kind of show you. Now I'm going to preface this by basically saying that I am. I am of the belief that almost all politics are a play for the public to, it's to give the illusion of choice, right? And I, but I think that there is so much control in the media. So there's so much control. Uh, I mean, everywhere. I mean, I feel like the the general public has been brainwashed for eons, and uh, quite frankly, I believe that the majority of us are mindless sheeple. I mean, <laughs> I just do, and I, I, I if, if you're one of those and you're offended by that, I'm terribly sorry, but it's likely the truth, especially if you are offended, because I feel like people that really dive into things and really kind of take the time to understand what's really going on, not just buying everything hook, line, and sinker based on headlines without reading every article to the finish. You know, I've noticed that, you know, you see a lot of articles about stuff and you know everybody that's that's trying to get a point across or something of that nature or they're trying to perpetuate some sort of agenda of nonsense they name something with a headline and they they start off supporting that headline but as you get further and further down the truth starts to unfold and you realize the headline isn't really even relevant anymore right a lot of even people even do that on youtube it's we call it clickbait well it's the same principle it's a lot of the same thing it's all meant to get people to click and leave for the most part and on to the next headline and I, you know i am not a trump supporter or a biden supporter quite frankly i just i don't i i feel that anybody at that level of government is is likely bought paid for or at least controlled uh, by invisible ghosts, of invisible powers that may be. Uh, I just don't think you get on that level unless you're allowed to get on that level. And um, I, I'm actually really scared because I think this election is gonna play a pivotal role in the stock market, the economy, and investing overall. And I'm gonna show you why, okay? Now, I was recently watching Valuetainment, which is a, you know, it's a gentleman, he does a lot of interviews, really interesting stuff. He interviews everybody from politicians to mobsters, I mean, you name it. And uh, guys ex-military and, and, you know, has a really interesting history. And uh, it's somebody I've really grown to appreciate, but they, they've been doing some uh, election coverage and they do their best to try and make everything as non-biased as possible. They have a panel of people recently where they just kind of go over the different issues and so forth. It's actually a pretty good show, and I think it's pretty well done. It's a hell of a lot more non-biased than anything you're going to find on news media. Uh, however, they were kind of explaining, uh, they were going over the Biden versus Trump tax plans. This is basically what they were presenting. Now, uh, I had just posted this on Twitter, and of course, you know, Trump haters immediately, immediately, oh, that's nonsense, those numbers are bogus, that's propaganda. But of course, they never back it up. They never back up, I mean, and this is the thing, it's not about a for Biden, for Trump scenario, it's a for stupid, not for stupid scenario. And, you know, granted, I, a lot of people, me included, we don't have time to go through every little detail of everything. I actually trust Valuetainment. Um, and I recreated basically the, the, the image that they were displaying during their discussion. And this is what scares me the most. A 43.4% capital gains tax. When Trump is proposing it at a 23.8% capital gains tax. Folks, when I think about, I mean, take everything else aside, okay? Cast aside your love or hatred of either candidate, all right? We are in a country right now that is literally printing money ad nauseum, debasing the US dollar, and then now trying to put somebody in the Oval Office who will suck it all back from us through taxation. Are we not taxed enough? And why does capital gains tax, you've got income tax, the highest, 52% income tax, really? I mean, is this even a real number? Like, and if any of you out there, if you have anything to support that this is not accurate, 
post in the comments and show me and let me know. Uh, because here's what I see happening. If, if these numbers from the Bet David show are accurate, which I really do believe they are, um, and, and haters and stuff that just want to keep casting doubt, but they can't support it with anything. Of course, they're going to say whatever, uh, but they're not going to support it with facts. They're not going to like cite anything. I mean, they're, they're, they're not going to do anything but just fart on the internet. That's pretty much it. They crop dust people in a crowd and go about their business. I mean, that's what a lot of these propagandists do, um, trying to support either side. I mean, it, it goes both ways. It, either way it goes, it, I despise it. But here's the thing, this, is, this election is actually gonna be far more pivotal to cryptocurrencies than I had originally thought, to be quite frank with you. Um, and not just cryptocurrencies, but the stock market. And if there's any correlation between the two, uh, both of them are about to take a huge bath if Biden gets elected. Why? This isn't even a political thing outside of just looking at the pure numbers. A 43.4% tax over a 23.8% capital gains tax means that if something were to happen and Trump were to not be reelected and Biden were to get elected, the second that's con confirmed, we're going to see, I I'm willing to bet, we're going to see a massive sell-off on the markets, a massive sell-off in the traditional stock markets, a massive sell-off in crypto. Why? Because nobody wants to pay 43% in capital gains tax. So if they're selling everything off, like right at the election, um, nobody's going to wait to find out like, oh... What, what? <laughs> nobody's going to wait. If Biden gets elected and this is his tax plan, nobody's going to wait around. They're going to exit their positions before 2021. And if that happens, we're going to see a huge meltdown. I'm telling you, we're going to see a huge sell-off on assets galore because people are not going to want to pay this 43% tax. Now, on top of that, you're talking about a 37% 30 income tax um, uh, with Trump's plan or 52% income tax and payroll tax with Biden's plan. I mean, look, folks, when, 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 to me, this is just absolutely disgusting. I'm sorry. I don't care. Um, I don't care what anybody, I don't really care what I think of the individuals. Personally, I think Trump is pompous and he's arrogant and he's like, he's everything that most people say. Um, and, 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 you know, but Biden, I honestly believe Biden was put in this position because he's the only one half senile enough to push this agenda. I mean, I don't think Biden's even truly expected to win. He's a Hail Mary. It's the, it's, it's, you know, the political party saying, you know what, Trump's gonna get reelected, he's gonna get his four years, but if something happens and Biden gets in, we're gonna tax the hell out of everybody. We're gonna turn back a lot of stuff that was well done, in my opinion. Um, and I don't know, this whole thing just scares me. It really does, because I absolutely despise capital gains tax to begin with. I'm the one taking all the risk I'm the one learning the markets. I'm the one putting all this time into being able to invest in assets so that I can improve my life, the life of the lives of my families. And I just look at this plan as basically trying to take it away. Like, and and the thing of it is, is this kind of plan ultimately means you're going to have a lot less people even bothering to invest because the risk is so high. You know, that what's the payoff? What's the potential return? And so I just see this being devastating to our economy. I really do. And I'm not, I'm not, this is the first time I've ever even really done a video quite like this because I just don't generally do it. But this hits home. These numbers really hit home for me. Um, you know, a 52% income tax, are you out of your damn mind? So ultimately, if somebody's making eight bucks an hour, they're ultimately, what, making four? And they're going to be W-2'd? You know what I'm saying? Like, where do they get off with these insane numbers? And I just, I don't, I'm sorry, but this is just repugnant. And, and the thing of it is, when I see all of the hate against Trump, and I see so many people supporting Biden, I can't help but to think, are you even really paying attention? Like, are you even really paying attention? Or are you strictly basing your opinions on the individual based solely off of the controlled media headlines? 
because that's really what I see. I don't see people really paying close enough attention to what these gentlemen are actually doing. What are they actually doing? What do they actually propose? It's all this, I hate this guy, he's a racist, to, which, which to me is completely unfounded. I mean, look, I call it how I see it, folks, and I know some of you guys are gonna hate me for this video, but the, the, the numbers don't lie. The numbers speak for themselves, really. And if you look at everything that's been accomplished over the last four years, I'm sorry, but the other side doesn't really have much of a leg to stand on at this point. And I think ultimately, look, when we, my wife and I, we had Obamacare, be when everybody was forced into Obamacare, and it cost us, we were paying like $1,300 a month with a $64,000 deductible for our family health care. It was absolutely useless useless it was garbage there it wasn't even insurance i we felt like we were being extorted by our government and basically said you are going to have to pay this every month or we're going to penalize you at tax season and we're going to keep your money and that's bullshit i'm sorry and and when i see this other when i see the blues basically wanting to perpetuate that and pick up where obama left off with that garbage scheme when trump is trying to fix it i mean look i i i care about the issues that are directly affecting my family i don't give a shit if some pompous arrogant asshole is making my life better <laughs> i'm sorry i don't this isn't about idealism. This isn't about uh, personal uh, vendettas or personal grudges or, or whatever. To me, it's just not about that. To me, it's about what is gonna help me and my family live a better life. And I don't really care if he's an asshole or a pompous jerk or you know an arrogant fool or whatever I see. I just don't care, I don't care. What I care about are the numbers. What I care about is the plan. What I care about is what is changing and what is helping America. What is helping the general public? What is helping the average man live a better life and provide for his family? Just based solely off of this, these tax plans alone, that's all I need to know. I'm sorry, it's all I need to know. And if you think for a second, I mean, think about it. By the time all is said and done, with the way the Fed is debasing the US dollar, constantly regurging, just pushing money out, printing money out, and then they're taxing all of our income on top of that. How much longer do we have under this current regime? This, and I don't by re regime, I don't mean the, the Trump administration. I mean regime by all the cartels that are really running the show. I mean, how long do we have while all of these people that we don't even see who are really pulling the strings behind the media, behind our banking institutions, behind the Fed, so forth and so on, how long do we have and what is the end goal? Is the end goal true implosion of our economic foundry, our, our economic foundation so that we adopt a one world currency? Is that the end goal? Because we're gonna find out real quick, I think, if if this election goes south. I mean, and and I, I'm sorry, but you know what, that doesn't even sound, because I'm pretty sure like the South are actually gonna vote against a 43.4% capital gains tax. So that's a good analogy in this instance. Um, I hate being political, guys, because honestly, I just want Want it all to be over but this to me is absolutely insane it's insane and to me it just screams it's a hail mary it's a hail mary but you know what even in the future even in the future because you know oh gosh i don't know i'm just scared to death but i'm telling you right now if biden does get elected i personally do not think he's going to i i'm in my gut i don't and to be quite frank, up until I realized what the tax plans were and how, what Trump's tax plan is and Biden's tax plan, I was like, I don't even really care that much. But now I do. And that's why I'm doing this video because we've gotta be smarter than this. We are not batteries for our government to squander. That's all there is to it. And I feel like that's how we're looked at. We are looked at by the banking institutions, by the government. We're looked at as sheeple to be controlled and farmed. And I can do a whole video all about that alone. And I do not like it. 
and 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 unfortunately as a society we are so busy being forced to work one two jobs my wife working me working everybody in the household has to work the kids being shuffled off to a school with a dumbed down educational system that was intentionally structured to be that way and 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 more so now than ever are people just kind of push to accept the way things are as everything continues to get worse in the favor of those pulling the strings and controlling us. And it really does make me sick. It makes me sick to my stomach when I think about the future my children are gonna live in. And and I feel absolutely powerless. I, I do, I feel powerless to a great degree and that makes me feel even sicker. Because a guy like me, I'll never be able to make any drastic change in the way the way things are. And I don't want to ramble on in this video. I mean, everybody that, 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 I mean, you get the point. You get where I'm going. But we have to really start using our heads and stop being so overly emotional. And we have to stop letting the media control our thoughts and feelings. There is a reason why the television is called a tell a vision. It is perpetuating the vision of somebody else into our minds, our hearts, and our souls, and we are adopting so much of it, hook, line, and sinker, and living our lives as such. And it's playing out in front of our very eyes. We have to stop trusting everything that we're being force-fed on the daily, folks. It, it, it's, it's just insanity. I just want to see everybody do well. I want to see everybody prosper. I love my country, don't get me wrong, but I do not love the way it's ran, and I do not love the corruption that is blatantly obvious today. There is so much corruption in every industry, and I just, I just, I, Sometimes I just try to, I put my mind, I, I, I sit down and I think, what drives people to be so absolutely corrupted? Is it just power? Is it just wealth? Is it money? What is it? Is it, is it the result of a life gone wrong? Is it a result of, you know, so many people having lived lives where they've been abused and, and tortured in a variety of ways? You know, what is it? I've been abused. I've been through all kinds of hell in my life, and I'm not a psychopath. I'm not a narcissistic sociopath trying to control the world. I mean, I'm just a dude trying to survive and I'm trying to help others survive. That's what everything is about to me. That is what I want my legacy to be. And, and when I see so much stuff, I can't even scroll through Facebook anymore because I see so much garbage. I see some of the most intelligent people I know who are spewing lies intentionally. And I know they're lies because I'm seeing comments about things that I saw myself. And I know it's either being taken out of context, being stuff is being added to it. It's like the, the people that hate Trump are becoming the very fake news media that they're getting all of their BS from to begin with. But they're creating their own. And it's this whole idea that it's okay because they're so passionately against a particular individual. If, they're, if you're so passionately against somebody, why can't you let the facts speak for themselves? Why do you feel as though you have to exaggerate or uh, explode a narrative into something so grandiose to get your point across? That should tell you that if you feel obligated to do that, then your conviction may be unfounded to begin with and you might need to take a second look. So this is one of the reasons why I don't really participate in a lot of this stuff because it's all so dividing. And I don't want to I don't want everybody to be so divided. This is a clear division. <laughs> this is absolute insanity. But I've been rambling long enough. Look guys, Make whatever decision you feel is gonna better serve you and your family. Don't be pandered to, don't even listen to me. I'm just sharing information. Look it up, go confirm it. If you think it's fake, if you think it's made up by somebody, go confirm it. If you find something that is factual and it's different than what I presented, let me know in the comments. I will pin it to the top of the comments if it's real. I don't wanna put out bad information either. But I'm pretty sure this is accurate and I'm pretty sure that it's a scary thought because if, if, this, if this comes to fruition, if Biden were to get elected and this becomes the new tax plan, we're gonna see a major sell-off, major sell-off. And a lot of our portfolios are gonna take a major hit. 
I'm not looking forward to that. I don't want to see that happen because I've been working too damn hard on everything that I've been accumulating, everything that I've been working on over the years, and I know so have you. So this counts to me, this matters, and this goes beyond whether or not this guy's senile and using earpieces and reading off of teleprompters or this guy's grabbing them by the whatever. I don't really care. This is what I care about. You should too. So until next time, guys, crow your coins if you've got anything left after the next month. And uh, gosh, I just want to keep going for five hours, but I won't. I'll spare you. Have a good day.